Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you vectors. Of course, there's the PDF file versions on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. What is a scalar? A scalar is a quantity that has magnitude but not directions. For example, uh, speed of a car. So the speed of a car is to tell you how fast the car is traveling. Doesn't tell you which directions it is heading to. Okay. And the next one is the distance from point A to point B. And the distance is only tell you how far is from point A to B. And it doesn't tell you the bearing. The length of a classroom. Again, the length of a classroom only tell you the size of the classroom. So what is a vector? So a vector is a quantity that has directions and magnitude. For example, velocity of a car. It is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour on a bearing of 120 degrees. Or a truck is heading toward east with a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Displacement is a distance and with directions. For example, 80 kilometers north of Sydney or 60 kilometers west of Parramatta. These are displacement because it's involved distance and directions. So they are vectors. Acceleration. So it is a rate of change of a velocity. So there are vectors. Okay, so keep that in mind. So for example, John walked on a bearing of south 70 degree east for 8 kilometers. He then turned and headed south for another 5 kilometers. So part A. So draw a vector to show John's journey. So to draw vector, so first of all, we have to start with a reference point first. So the reference point is this. So he walked on the bearing of this and he heading to south 70 degrees east. So it's here. So this is 70 degrees and this is 8 kilometers. He then turned and headed south for another 5 kilometers. So the reference point now is here. And going down south for 5 kilometers. There you go. Done. Part B. So what is the total distance John traveled? So the total distance is which is at all the distance together. So the first leg is he traveled 8 kilometers. And then we add 5 kilometers. So that is 13 kilometers. There you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through them with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So let's get into this. So Glenda cycled 12 kilometers due north. So we start down here a bit, okay? So due north, so we're going up north for 12 kilometers. So 12 kilometers. And then seven kilometers due east. So she go east for seven kilometers. There you go. She then travel due south for another 12 kilometers. So which is go down south. So 12 kilometers. So there you go. Done. So this is the vectors diagram. Now part B. What is the total distance Glenda travels? So which is at all the distance together. So distance is equal to, so we start with 12, we add seven and we add 12. So that will give me, so 12 plus 12 is 24. We add another seven. So that will give me 31 kilometers. So there you go. Last one. So what is her position relative to her starting point? So this means we need to work out the displacements of Glenda. 
So her positions now is here. So that is east. So seven kilometers. So the displacement now is seven kilometers east of her starting point. So seven kilometers east of her starting point. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.